Here's Maria, Trail Angel Extraordinaire. She's given us a ride the last couple of days. <laughs> She's dropping us off here at Vincent Gap so we can start our hike up to Mount Baden Powell. All right, guys, it is day 35. Had an awesome night at the Airbnb and uh, got some good rest. It's a, it's a Saturday. There's a lot of locals here doing the day hike up to Mount Baden Powell. So that's kind of comforting though because there's still some snow up there to uh, navigate to get to the top. It's kind of steep. So having extra people around is always nice. Ray Goose and I are getting ready to trudge up this <laughs> four mile climb to the top and um, gonna get started. Almost mile two of this uh, four mile hike up to uh, Mount Baden Powell. We only have two more to go to the top and then from there it's down and then there's like one more steep up for a mile and then after that it's pretty much just kind of a gradual well you know the pct <laughs> down and up as you go all right this is mile about 376 7 pretty much hitting starting to hit solid snow so at some point we'll put our micro spikes on it looks like everybody's just kind of picking their own <laughs> it is it's pretty much choose your own adventure from here <laughs> We're taking a quick break down here at mile three. Well, it's pretty much um, 377. We have our micro spikes on too to <laughs> hopefully make it a little bit easier. Gray Goose climbing up. <sighs> yeah. It's definitely straight up. I feel good though. I feel a lot better than I thought I would. I mean, it's just hard work, but I don't feel exhausted, so. I see lots of blue sky, so we're getting close. Ooh, this has been adventurous. It's been kind of fun, because I don't think I felt like it's been too dangerous. Not with this uh, micro spikes on. There's people up here without them, and they're having a hard time, <laughs> especially the locals, trying to decide if they're gonna just slide down glissading and scared. There's a couple ladies that were just like stuck, <laughs> scared to move, so. <sighs> Hard to breathe. <laughs> We're up here at high altitude and a lot of climbing, so I think I'm gonna put the phone away until I get to the summit, which is about half a mile ahead. Up there somewhere. All right, we are almost there. I made it to the summit. Here's the uh, flagpole <laughs> with no flag. Whew. Keep going. Yeah. I'll put you on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> we were still coming up with the lyric. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my first peak ever. Woohoo! There she is. Yay! Big <laughs> owl flying in. There's a glider. Woohoo! <laughs> Just taking our lunch up here. It's beautiful. Weather's perfect. Um, very proud of myself. That's my first peak ever that I've uh, completed. So I had a lot of fears about coming up here and um, it's just been a great day. Happy I stayed in the saddle and didn't take the alternate around. I was thinking about doing the road walk because I was really scared about whether I could, you know, physically climb up all the way up here and uh, if my legs were good enough and I was worried about the snow. Um, but I'm really glad I pushed past that and uh, made myself come up here. It was a great day. So we are headed, heading down from Mount Baden-Powell, back on, trying to reconnect with the PCT. Look at this wall of snow, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of day hikers out here today, but it is Saturday. So this is some of the obstacles that we come across <laughs> that we have to get over. So I'm gonna put the phone away, but I wanted to show you. We have about two, a little over two miles to get to uh, yeah, little Jimmy campground that we're gonna camp at for tonight and probably gonna be a lot of other hikers there too. 
All right, so we have arrived at Little Jimmy Camp. As you can see, there are a lot of people here. Tonight, there's a bunch of people up on the hill. They're just actually all over the place, so at least 50, if not more, campers here tonight. Not all PCT, there's some um, section or local hikers here as well. All right, so I'm just gonna make some dinner and um, starting to get a little chilly, but just wanna get some food. <laughs> Hopefully have a good night's rest tonight with all the people here. Hopefully everybody respects Hiker Midnight and goes to sleep at a good time. But um, I'm just so proud of myself for making it over Mount Baden-Powell today. Um, we only went a little over nine miles, but it was still like, um, it's still very difficult. It took us um, pretty much most of the day um, because of the snow that we encountered and down trees and losing the trail a few times. It was definitely tricky, but um, we made it through and I'm really excited to be on the other side and now heading down um, down the other side of the mountain. So <laughs> we'll see what tomorrow brings and uh, how far I get. Um, so anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Just leaving little Jimmy. Uh, spring camp and hopefully hitting mile 400 today. <laughs> uh, we'll see how far we get with the detours down below. It was a good night. It was cold. We're at about 7,400 in elevation and looking forward to getting lower elevation and out of this crisp air. <laughs> uh, it's felt pretty good. Well, there were so many people there. That was insane. I've never slept in anything like that before. People were up till probably about a 10, 11 o'clock or so. So it wasn't too bad, but gonna get going. Show you guys what's up ahead of me right now. going through this interesting burn area. Everything's so just decimated down there and gone. But there's new plants starting to grow back here. All right, well, I just took a really good fall back there and this was literally a f trip down a rock and fell full on forward on my face on the trail. And it was on the ledge. Um, Fortunately, I didn't slide and I fell straight forward and also fortunately my knee and arm didn't hit any rocks. We're entering an area with tons of poodle dog bush. We're in a big burn zone. This is the most I've ever seen of it, so gotta pay attention. Fortunately, it's pretty noticeable. It's the only thing green around here right now. <laughs> poodle dog bush everywhere and for my friends and family who don't know what that is it's just it's a very nasty plant that you don't want to come in contact with if you can help it um, and especially if you're allergic to it you can have a really nasty reaction but it causes um, like severe rashes boils um, it can make you like physically ill um, like nausea vomiting and it can really mess you up so don't come in contact with it if you can help it. <laughs> At least out here, it's pretty obvious. It actually is more of an issue like when you're going through mixed vegetation where it's blended in and you're not paying attention and rub up against it. But it's one of those um, afflictions that can come on days later. And you might not even remember where you had come in contact with it. So I'm paying attention. This is mile 386. We're gonna go over here and uh, sit down, take a break before we have to climb up for about, oh, it's about 1.8 mile, pretty good climb up. So we're gonna sit here and this is called, oh, this is Islip, Islip Saddle.
to eat my cold soaked oats. So I had a project last year that I went back to all the same hikes I had done before the fire. Uh-huh. And went to the same spot for some reason. Hey guys, just stopping here and taking a break. Uh, after leaving the parking lot area, it's like 1.7 miles of straight up. And it's just as steep as uh, Mount Baden Powell climb was. <laughs> so I'm so done with climbing. I've been doing nothing but climbing since I left um, Cajon days ago. And my legs are shot. So I think I'm definitely ready for zero, but it's still going to be a bit before I get one. I don't have anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're finally almost at the top of this climb. Boy, 1.7 miles can feel like an eternity when it's super steep. Oof. We're getting close to the uh, endangered yellow-legged frog closure. So we are going to be road walking. I think it's a little over four miles. So this, uh, this trail is closed, so we are getting ready to take the alternate. We're going to do the road walk for a bit. We just saw search and rescue go over, and supposedly there's an elderly gentleman that is missing. We passed so many older men in the last yesterday and today, and one of them was out there really late in the afternoon and didn't, I think he just had a day pack, and we knew he was heading into the snow area was not going to make it back down to Vincent Gap where his car was parked before uh, before it got dark so he would have been hiking in the snow that sketchy snow that we had to go through yesterday in the daylight so we were really worried about him so we're hoping it's not him or I don't want it to be anybody but you know we had a bad feeling about that guy We're just wondering what's going on over there. Oh, there they are. Comb in the mountains, possibly. First snow plant I've seen. My snow plant is a fungus. Yeah, it's so cool looking. It's kind of waxy in person. been doing a whole lot of videotaping today. Um, it's been a lot of road walking, mostly going through, uh, well pretty much all of it's been going through burn areas. This is the uh, Bobcat fire from 2020 and the, uh, a lot of the PCT was closed last year with the closures. Um, so we had to do, we did the endangered, uh, endangered frog <laughs> detour. That took some time and then taking the alternate trail and then finally getting back on the PCT. It's later in the afternoon, getting close to the 400 mile mark. So this is exciting. And uh, yeah, I'll show you when we get there. All right, girls, we made it to 400. Woohoo! There she is. And if you don't like pine cones, you've got rocks too. So. 400 freaking hard miles. <laughs> 400 awesome miles. Yes. That's really Awesomely, freakishly hard. But I did it. Here I am. Woohoo. It's proof. Okay. Hey guys, so we hiked up to Camp Glenwood here. And uh, this is. Uh, it's just over mile 400. I think it's 
400.9 or something, but um, it's just before the spring. That's about a mile ahead. Gray Goose and I are going to stay here for the night, and nobody else has shown up yet, but there's plenty of 10 spots here, and there's also a privy over the hill there. Can't get into the cabin, um, but there's picnic tables here. It's really nice. Lots of picnic tables and like different uh, tent sites. So there's a picnic table over there. And there's a bunch of picnic table there, there, there. And um, plenty of places to set up tents. So this should be a nice area for the night. And here we are already set up. <laughs> Thank you.